factor 27, carboxylic acids. As we are using the name acids, to add, that means that the compounds in this entire homologous series would be all acids. They all have the same function group, C double OH. This is how it's written. This is how it is drawn. And this hydrogen is the hydrogen that is released in the form of H positive, proving every compound to be an acid. The most old one or the familiar one is ethanoic acid. Vinegar is an aqueous solution containing ethanoic acid. Carboxylic acids are formally, were formerly made by oxidation of corresponding alcohols. For example, ethanol would produce ethanoic acid, propanol would produce propanoic acid, butanol would produce butanoic acid, so on and so forth. I think this makes complete sense. So yeah. whenever ethanol was left in the air or oxidized using potassium dichromate 6 in dilute sulfuric acid, you would form the corresponding carboxylic acid. So that's pretty simple. So drawing the starting few carboxylic acids, you would notice that the names are always named as oic acids, methanoic acid, ethanoic acids, propanoic acids, so on and so forth. If you look at their molecular formula, you would notice that this is more like CnH2NO2. All right, CnH2NO2. You would notice the same thing going through their molecular formula. However, in structural formula, it's just C double OH. As this function group itself consists of a, a carbon atom, so writing just H next to it gives us methanoic acid. Writing CH3 next to it gives us ethanoic acid. Writing CH3, CH2 in next to it gives us propanoic acid. So every time when we are naming the acid, we're including the carbon that is present as a part of the functional group. Hence, one carbon, methanoic acid, two carbons, ethanoic acid, three carbons, including the carbon that is a part of the functional group is propanoic acid, so on and so forth. Make sense? Yeah. Now, if you're asked for a displayed formula in exams, you should draw all the bonds in C double OH group, as shown over here. Take a look. We, they have drawn all the bonds and all the atoms in C double OH. So it's, however, it's pretty normal to write it like this. Now, it's really important to notice when we name a carboxylic acid, we count the total number of carbon atoms, including the one that is present as a part of the functional group. And I've explained it already. Are we good? Yeah. Okay. So moving on. Acid properties of the carboxylic acid. If we're talking about acid properties, remember all characteristic reactions that we have studied in back in the acids and bases chapter will be considered over here again. Let's go through those. First things first. All the carboxylic acids are weak acids. Weak acids slow a slightly higher pH as compared to strong acids, three to five, depending upon the concentration of the solution. If they're concentrated, three, if they're dilute, five. They would turn blue litmus paper red. They would react with all the things you re re expect any acid to react with, all right? So we can yeah. use them for different purposes, for example, the characteristic reactions included reactions with metals. This produced metal plus acid gave us salt plus hydrogen. I hope you remember that formula. So the same thing is happening over here. A metal is reacting with an acid, producing a salt, which is ethanoid salt in this case, and it's giving hydrogen gas. In this specific case, a lot of fizzing occurs. The salt is an ethanoid salt which is soluble in water, so we get a colorless solution. And this fizzing is due to hydrogen gas. I think it's pretty easy. So moving yeah. forward, you would understand that this is ethnoid ion. Taking the hydrogen out of it, this is what we are left with, and there is a negative sign at the oxygen at bottom, right? Taking hydrogen out as H positive leaves the oxygen with O negative. This 
is ethnoid ion. And if we have two magnesium and uh, magnesium has a plus two charge, the formula for magnesium ethnoid would be something like this, as was written in the previous equation. The same thing would happen with zinc. The other metal, sodium, is dangerously reactive. So zinc ha even has a very fast reaction. So does calcium or potassium. However, reacting with, with magnesium is a pretty good option because it does not give you a violent reaction. So moving on, for extension work, ethnoic acid is a weak acid. When we talk about weak acids, we do understand weak acids do not dissociate completely in water. And strong acids completely dissociate. Let's take an example to make sure that we understand it. HCl is a strong acid. When we dissolve it in water, it is converted into H positive ion and it's negative ion. Similarly, ethnoic acid, when dissolved in water, is converted into H positive ion plus negative ethnoid ion, which we just discussed. The lines which are important, the lines which are important here is that H positive and Cl negative ions are completely dissociated and we hardly have these molecules. If we consider 75 atoms, 75 out of 75 would dissociate. However, if we talk about this one, one out of 75 would dissociate. This gives you the idea about complete dissociation and partial dissociation, which means strong acids dissociate completely and weak acids dissociate partially. This is a pretty good comparison, which means out of 75 molecules of this, one would be converted into positive and negative ion, and the 74 would remain intact. In case of HCl, all the molecules will break down into positive and negative ions and none would stay intact. Make sense? Yeah. This is how strong and weak acids are differentiated. So moving on, the reactions with carbonates, it's pretty simple. When reacting with the carbonate, they give salt, they give carbon dioxide, they give water. So we have all three products over here. We get a lot of fizzing because you're producing a gas. You get a colorless solution because the ethnoids are usually colorless with normal elements like sodium, potassium, magnesium, calcium, right? Yeah. Okay, something that is not written over here is that they can also go with a simple neutralization reaction with an alkali, such as any of which can react with ethnoic acid and they would produce sodium ethnoid and water. So we are talking about alkali, our weak acid producing a salt and water. This is the third kind of reaction, which is not mentioned over here, probably because it has been mentioned a couple of times in the acid chapter. All right? Yeah. This finishes the chapter for us.